Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Den Vlog. As you can tell, I'm in the woods on an investigation. But this one hits close to home. And I mean, it really hits close to home. It's about 200 yards from my front door down the road to my house. You've probably heard the story. You've probably seen a couple of the videos already. So you know what's happening. So I got woke up Sunday morning around nine by an old lady down the street. She said something strange had happened across the street from her house. Said I need to get down here and check it out because I hunt weird shit and I hunt cryptids. And somebody said it was large and hairy. So I was on the case pretty damn quick. Unfortunately, I arrived about the time the police did and only got to talk to a neighbor who quickly told me that a large hairy creature had attacked a man cleaning catfish, grabbed his fish and run off into the woods. And that was basically all I got until later on in the afternoon. So that was around nine. I made a few videos and I spent all day waiting for the police to go away. About 20 minutes. Then about 20 minutes ago, the police went away. So I said, I'm going to go down here to where the sighting happened. And I'm going to take a look in the woods and see if I can find anything to prove or disprove what this man says. And I'll recap the story really quick as I look around. And I do see some strange indentations on the ground already. I just got here. And I'm going to point this out real quick. That this is, may just be natural, but it does look like some, it does look like some prints up through here. And it does look like some kind of paw mark down here. Maybe even a three-toed one. But not similar to what a bear would make. And there's more over here. So right over here where you're seeing through them two trees, in that clearing, I dropped the phone, sorry. Through that clearing right here, a man was in his backyard cleaning catfish. He caught on a Saturday night. It's a Sunday morning, just after sunup, around 9 o'clock. He's cleaning them up for his big Sunday night fish fry. So the man says, you know, I'm going to do all the fish. So he's doing all the fish. It's a big amount, by the way. And he said something come up behind him knocked him to the ground, and pummeled him, grabbed his fish, and went off through the woods. Now, what happened was, as he looked up and looked out through the trees, seeing something come towards where I'm standing right now, he said he saw a large mass of hairy man covered with hair like a freak from a freak show, like, like, like the wolf boys from that circus. That's what he said. And he said it had the incredibly biggest beats he ever seen. He reached down to get his gun, and it went off, and he shot most of his foot off. And hence, a big police presence for shots fired. And hence, a big police presence for the other stuff going on. Uh, the cops said it was probably just the bear knocked him to the ground and stuff, and what he saw was the bear going away. And they wrote it up that way, apparently. It's just an animal attack and an accident. And the whole thing gets blown off. It didn't even, it didn't even make the noon news. <sighs> I'll check again for all the other news just to see if it makes it too. As we carry on, I see another mark on the ground right here. Too hard. It's like I say, these are just indentations on the ground. And some of them seem to be shaped like feet to me. And this will be right the area where it's things that were supposed to have come through here. But they seem to be heading towards the spot and not away from it. So I'm thinking that this is the way the creature come in, made the attack, got the fish, come back out a different way. So I'll have to head down to see if I can find the different way. This creature came through the woods. And of course, if I find a trail, I'll track that some bitch through my neighborhood as far as I can. Even though I'm a little nervous about being around these people's backyard without permission. So I'm within 55 to 60 yards of the spot in the direction it headed out. Getting dangerously close to other people's property though. And like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of permission to be down here. I'm looking for that spot. You'll be able to tell that spot where it came through when you see it. I've learned from listening to the shows. And I think I have it. I think I have it, dudes. I think I have it. Yep. Right through here, it's clear. So about eight or nine feet. Right in the direction of where the attack occurred. And it's like something big was made to walk through there. And you can see the bent down and broke down limbs where the path has been cleared. Right in the middle of the screen. See, right there. And then it leads out of the trail here, where I am. 
And you can see where something's rough up through here. And it heads out in that direction towards that clearing. Which on a Sunday morning, I know them people probably would be in church. Because I'm the only one around here that don't tend to go to church on a Sunday morning. Or maybe some people up the street, apparently. The people up the street, they call them hillbillies. And what makes this guy the most credible witness in the world is this guy's what you call a genuine South Carolina hillbilly. He inherited the house from his mom and dad about nine months ago when they passed away. I'm being a little quieter and a little cautious, sorry. I've been hearing a few things since I got here. You can see that video when I first got here on the Danny Staten channel. And it's obvious how this thing cuts through here. I'm going over to where it's widened. Look at this. It's just a straight shot right out through here. And that actually looks like the shape of a footprint right there, boys and girls. Am I correct? Let me know in the comments below if you see a big footprint there with the toe being right here. Or is that just paradoxical? It looks like a footprint to me, and I do tracking, buddies. <sighs> That's a very good one. We just stepped right over that weed. I swear I keep hearing some noises off in these woods. But this is where the trail is. I found over yonder where the trail goes in. And I found the trail over here where it goes out. But as I was saying before, these people are real hillbillies who had this encounter. The guy inherited the house about nine months ago when his mother and father died of COVID. Up until that point, he lived way up in the hills. He moved down here, took over the house, but he don't, he don't have cable TV. He don't have, a, he, as far as I know, they don't even have a TV. And them radio listening to people, and they grow their own food. They hunt in ditches and deers for food. And sell some vegetables out of their garden to pay their bills, you know. Simple folk here in South Carolina. And the funny part about it is, one of my friends who went and talked to the guy and brought me back the story, said he asked the guy if he thought it was Bigfoot. And that guy said it was like a circus freak and all that. And he, he don't even know what a Bigfoot is. This guy has a third grade education and don't even, have never even heard of a Bigfoot in his whole life. And just didn't have time for it, I don't guess, working them 12 hour days in the field. Very interesting stuff here in South Carolina. So I'm going to follow this trail now and get on it and see where this thing goes. And now you know the story. And this is something happening right here in my own neighborhood. Here in the Spearman community of South Carolina. Very near of Piedmont and Greenville. And Anderson. Something has torn the ground up. Dread. Wow, it's deep here like something burrowing. Huh. Very hard ground. Now. It's hard to get any first door tracks in this area. But I can still see where the, the, the ground's rustled up. And sticks are broke. And you can definitely tell this trail right here. You can almost see the outline of a Bigfoot right there. So I'm definitely on the case of what she probably is a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot. I saw strange vehicles driving by. And now I'm coming out very close to residences. And a little opening. I'm going to have to scan this area real quick. And what I'm looking for is the beat down ground, the trail. And I think I see it. Sticking out a little bit it is. Do you see that YouTube? The trail for something big has passed right through this area, right here, and beat down the ground. And headed, huh, let's see if I can zoom in on it real good. I hear a lot of traffic. Very interesting stuff. You don't hear or see nothing, and then you come out here making a video and stuff, and then all of a sudden you get to see all kind of stuff. Well, anyway, you can see the big down trail right here. It runs this way. It runs straight in a straight direction through that area, through them big trees down there, and into some more deep, dark, dank woods located across the road over there. Now, if it come through here at, let's say... 8.30 in the morning, 
Most people already left for church are still in bed. It's, it could have went right down through here toting a, toting a, a bunch of catfish and not be seen. And I did find what looked like some big cracks. Let me know in the comments below if you thought them were big cracks. If you join me on the Danny Staten channel, I'm going to track this sucker on out here on the Danny Staten channel. Find out where it goes. Check it out. I'm going to do a little recon first. And then um, I'm going to hit them other woods and see if I can find a trail and see where this bastard went. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for Daily Dan. I'm going to see what was passing me by. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for Daily Dan. And until next time, this is Danny Staten on the Daily Dan blog. In the woods on a Bigfoot investigation, I guess. Right here near my house, 200 yards away. In my neighborhood where something's always going on. Till next time, vlog over.